Hello, hello, welcome, welcome everyone, welcome so much, so much. Thank you for being here, thank you. Welcome, welcome, get comfortable, get a glass of water, cup of tea. Find a nice place to sit, get comfortable. Thank you for allowing me to share this time with you today. Today we're going to be talking about empowering yourself and self-esteem. So if you thought about how to make of this moment the best moment of your life, stay tuned. Stay tuned because I hope that I will be able to transmit to you this power to create the most amazing transformations, the most amazing uh, visions, reality. So stay tuned. We are just waiting for more people to come in, join in, sit down, get comfortable. And I want to thank you, thank you all of you who are joining at this time. I hope that you had a very good day, a bit rainy and cold, but still warm inside, warm in the heart. So, self-esteem and empowering yourself. I want to start this session with one question. If your life depended on it, would you believe in yourself? Let's imagine that believing in yourself, doing the best you can do, is not a matter of dreams, it's not a matter of achievement, it's not a matter of happiness, it's a matter of life and death. Imagine right now that you have X amount to live, and the only way you can arrive to your destination, that is death. How can you arrive to your destination with a smile on your face saying to yourself, I am ready to let go because I did everything in my power, absolutely everything in my power to live my truth, to live and believe in myself. How much would that make a difference to you right now? Just, just, just let's think about that just a tiny moment. I heard a very a big long question here. Thank you so much. Uh, please put me your questions. I will try to answer them at the end. But think about this question. How much would you believe Actually, not how much. Would you believe in yourself if it was a matter of life and death? Like, you need to make your dream come true right now because that's the only thing that will keep you alive. Well, this is the place where I am. This is where I am living this moment right now as I'm talking to you about empowering yourself and self-belief I am in a place where if I don't believe in myself, I could be dead in six months. Or probably less now with the coronavirus and the whole shit. Probably will be in two weeks. <laughs> but it is at that point where I am in, in the position of asking for myself absolutely everything which includes be able to talk to you in front of the camera about my greatest and most overpowering vulnerabilities, uh, which include going to work today. I was my, it was my first day at work. Uh, I work in a, a, in a college for special people with special abilities. And... Uh, and creating all this belief of, yes, I can do it. 
Yes, I am strong enough. Yes, this is the moment I've been waiting all my life. And this is the moment that somehow I feel empowered to transmit to you, to give you that um, stuff. Like if you were running on the Olympics, it's like a, <sighs> I've done this work so far. Boom. Now it's your turn. Go and do your work. Go and do your job. And pass it on to you, this energy, to make you believe that at this point in time, you have everything that you could possibly need to make your greatest dream a reality. And this doesn't mean that you're going to, if your dream is having a castle, it doesn't mean that you're going to have a castle. It means that you're going to do everything in your power to build that castle. That every single day of your life, you're going to carry that stone and put it in a place where you know it belongs. It's not about having the castle. It's about realizing that every single day of your life, it's a step forward. Believing you can do it. Believe that, yes, we have insecurities. Fuck yeah. Sorry for my friend. Yes, we have vulnerabilities and fears and all these mental health anxieties and depressions and doubts and all that stuff that flows in our minds. Yes, it is there. However, now you also have ways to control and let's say not control, but manage that stress, those moments of weakness, which is not the same as vulnerability. Just moments of weakness, the moments when you doubt about yourself, when you doubt that you are capable of achieving your dream, the moment when you uh, even cloud your mind with, with thoughts that bring you down instead of bringing you up. I know those those situations exist, but you also now have the tools. You know that we live in a, in a time where all the information that you need, it's available to you with one click. So if you want to meditate, if you want to get stronger and fitter, if you want to get wiser and more intelligent or whatever, well, there is everything you need. At this point, for some strange reason of the universe, you are watching this transmission, which is not me talking to you, which is more like you talking to yourself, because for some strange reason, it is time that you get into your little head that this massive idea of you stop questioning yourself. Stop questioning your abilities to, to make of yourself the greatest power of this earth. Just go and do it every single day. And not with, with the vanity or arrogance of, yes, I am better and I am greater and, I, and I'm going to do it. No, because... I've been there, and I've done that, <laughs> and I can tell you that if we travel on clouds, at some point it's going to rain, <laughs> we're going to fall all the way to the ground. So it's not about inflating your ego and, flow and, and fly like a balloon, no. It's about checking facts. It's about to realize you are here, yes, you are here, you are strong, can you get out of bed, yes, can you think about making breakfast, yes, can you make a plan, yes, can you either do it or not do it, but can you make, I mean physically, can you make it happen, Yes. So you have your faculties. Yes. But I have a story and I have a drama and I have a trauma. Oh, well, yes, I know that 
Yes, 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 good boy, good boy. Okay, I know that you have all those traumas, but I'm giving you all these tools to deal with all that stuff. All those, all these shovels, well, you can shovel your side out. If you want to do it, brilliant. You don't want to do it, brilliant. But we are in a moment when if you want to make things happen, you have to do your work. And the work begins with breathing consciously. Can I make it even more easier than that? Every single day of your life, at least make the commitment to yourself to breathe consciously. And I'm saying minimum three times. I'm not asking you three minutes. I'm not asking you a minute. I'm asking you three times, three long deep breaths. When you manage to keep your mind steady and strong, when you are not going to allow you, oh yes, and I have to go to the uh, right cleaning. Oh yes, and I have to buy milk. Oh yes, and I have to tell this guy about that stuff. No, it's about I am breathing in and I'm using all the capacity of my lungs. Probably can be, I can full a bit more and then I exhale. And I completely empty my lungs and create a vacuum in my stomach. And I repeat this process at least three times. When you have that discipline and determination to make at least that a commitment to yourself, I can guarantee you, and I would give my life right now, I would jump the bloody cliff, if what I'm saying is just mambo-jambo and pure bullshit. Because my life has depended on my ability to breathe and breathe consciously. People who know me, when they know me, they know that if I'm breathing long and deep, shit is going through my veins. <laughs> I mean, I have to filter stuff. And that is when I am surrounded by people. When I am by myself, I do the whole guru guru vahe guru guru ram das guru 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 until I get it right. Why? Because in my case, I have several diagnoses of life and death. If you don't do this, you're gonna die. And guess what? I do what my conscience dictates. But it's not easy to go against the current. It's not easy to say, well, you are not that clever, or you are not that strong, you are not that healthy, you are not that wise. And suddenly say, well, guess what, you bitches? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And I'm going to do it because I know within myself I can do it. Now, this belief is part of our center, our common center, like goodness and love and compassion is something that we all have. This empowerment that lies right inside your third chakra, your solar plexus, and it has the power of the bloody fucking sun. That powerful it is. Now, if you have layers and layers and layers and layers of belief that makes you think that you are not that good enough, let's tap. Pow, 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 pow. Go to therapy, uh, embark on a spiritual journey, do what it takes, but realize if you're watching this and you are saying, well, yes, but that's you, not me. Well, I understand and, and I feel you. And I would not say anything uh, to, I would not say anything down because I've been there and I know how it feels. 
But my only intention at this point with this broadcast, with this connection that we're having right now, is that, let me come closer. Yes, you can. Yes, you can do it. It's, with, it's right there within yourself. And I know right now you cannot feel it. And I know right now it feels like, wow, like a fairy tale. But fairy tales also do come true. You can be the princess or you can be the prince. And one day you will be a queen or you will be a king. Or you will be a king queen or a queen king. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter. But you can be that, that you've been dreaming from the moment you can have, recall having memories. <laughs> the first time you saw your hands, or the first time you remember seeing your legs, or for the first time that you remember seeing your image in the mirror when you were perfect in your own, in your own perception. I don't know if you have memories of you as a child. Child, I'm talking about one, two, three years old. I, rem I have one memory of, of probably I was two or three years old. I don't know. I was very, very little. But I remember being in this kind of position with my knee close to my body. And I remember I was feeling my calf and I was looking at my foot and I was truly, truly amazed of how beautiful and soft it was. I even remember touching it and, and kind of like, 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 wow, this is so soft. <laughs> and I remember seeing, I mean, I have the memory of my calf back then. So, we have within ourselves, we come programmed to love and believe in ourselves. We come programmed to, to create the greatest, I don't dream, paradise, a, a castle, I don't know, a, create whatever is in your mind. We come with that already within yourself. Now, we are peeling layers, yes, and that's fine. And you will have all the time in the world. But today, right now, at this point in life, it's all about trust. Trust. Trust that you may be walking in, in darkness, but trust that there is a light somewhere. Like you are inside of a room, and you know, because you know, you know that there is the switch somewhere and you keep looking and looking and looking. Well, that is the kind of trust we're looking here. I'm not asking you to feel like you can see and I mean, know that at some point it will click. And that, that kind of put it like a little seed in the back of your mind or within your heart or whatever you want to put it. But know that if in this moment you're struggling to believe in yourself, mainly because it's not a matter of life and death. Because if it were a matter of life and death, I guarantee you that you will bring balls out of whatever sack and will put it on and will say, shit, I have to believe in myself like a right now or I'm going to die. And believe me, there is one more thing that I know which can be stronger than love and emotion. And that is the survival instinct. I mean, survival instinct is big. And it's like you would do anything to not die. And not because it is wrong or bad or ugly what is going on the other side. No, it's because this life is the most amazing experience that we have. Because even in the spirit world, we don't have what we have here, which is experience. Here we experience the feeling. There we only know the experience. We remember the experience. 
We know how it feels. We, we have the, the information, but we don't know how a kiss feels. We don't know how achievement feels. We don't know how it feels when, when you, even though you don't believe 100%, you give 100%. You don't, you don't, once you are out of this body, you don't feel the, the excitement. You don't feel emotion. You feel, you know how it feels. Here you got, you get that connection. You have the opportunity to make it happen. And this is the moment. I have no idea what your life is like, who you are, or how much this Quran of Fokker is transforming your life. I have no idea. But I know that wherever you are, in whichever level of existence you find yourself, <clears throat> you have the opportunity at this point to make of yourself your greatest hero or heroine and turn from hero to, from zero to hero <laughs> i love that one <laughs> but you have it you have it now if you feel that you need support well you are not alone and i would put myself at the end of your long list of support mechanisms and uh, uh, I don't know, I don't have know, support mechanisms because you have obviously your people around, you have the internet, you have your many, many situations that you know to whom to go and uh, get support, support from. But if after all those, you realize, well, you know something, I would like someone who talks to me without bullshit. And I want someone who has gone from zero to hero every single day of his life. I will invite you to call me, to contact me. Uh, my website is angsamsara.com. You can go here and send me a message and we start the process from there. Yes. Ank is the, the key to the uh, underworld of the Egyptians. And samsara, samsara is eternity, is the process of life, death and rebirth. Together they create the, what I call, the light, uh, the, the, the key to your own enlightenment. Because it's about turning lights on. If I, it's about right now realizing, shit, I can do this. Maybe you thought about talking in public. And it scares you to death. And it's like the, just thinking about it just makes you feel sick. Start little. Start little. Start by talking to yourself in the mirror. Start by writing what you would like to say. Start by making a video that you're, gonna sh you're not going to show to anybody. It's going to be only for yourself. Start by probably joining a course. By the way, I joined this course called the Speak Up Challenge. Great. If you want to have more structure in how to present yourself, good place. And they are very, very uh, flexible and uh, with, with fees and stuff like that. So I would, I would recommend it. Uh, but in whichever area you are dreaming on or, you are, or, or your journey feels like it's going through it, go on and, and test your waters. Test yourself. You're going to come out of this lockdown to what? To the same? 
you have the opportunity to upgrade yourself in me at many levels, to challenge yourself at many levels. You have the opportunity to be quiet, to not go out anywhere, to probably turn the television off, to begin to ask important questions, probably asking what, what's, what am I going to do after this? Am I going to still want to have a job? Do I really want to go back to that job? If it's not that job, what am I going to do? How can I survive? How can I make money? How much do I need? How much do I really need? Do I need all these? Could I? Am I selling myself short? Am I living too much? Am I spending too much every month? Can I just come down probably? Can I downsize my life instead of having to ask myself that much every single day of my life? Can I, could, could I just have a bit more time for myself? Could it be? Those are, those are the questions that probably you need to start asking yourself. It's not about how much you're going to shine in the world. It's how much your heart is going to shine within yourself. Fuck the world. <laughs> I mean, not. But first, you have to take care of yourself. Like in the airplanes. You have to first put the mask on you and then put it to somebody else. You have to make sure you are in the right place at the right time, which you are. But probably you don't believe it or, you don't, or it doesn't feel that way. But you are in the right place at the right time. And this is the right place at the right time. And these are the right words in the right intensity. You can do this. So once we finish this, you're going to put in a piece of paper, because you have to write it down. This, this, that is the, the process of, of manifestation. You think about it, you talk about it, and then you act about it. Because once you have this three-dimensional process, something comes out. Something happens. Because simply it's not only, it's not only head, it's not only information and beat, it's not only vibration and sound, it's already manifestation. You are using your powers of manifestation to put it down into writing. And that, believe it or not, is one of the greatest powers of the universe. So I will invite you from the most empowering part of myself to the most empowering part of yourself to go and dream big. Dream big. And when I say big, it's big. And remember, not because you want to live in a castle means that you have to have you have to go from zero to castle. It's about bringing one stone every single day to make it happen every single day, to learn to breathe consciously every single day. And once you have those elements in your power, like this is who I am. I am conscious breathing. I am connection with myself, my higher self, and even my lower selves. I am so strong in my vulnerabilities that when I am strong, fuck me, I am strong. Because I know how to bring myself up when I'm vulnerable, when I'm down, when I have fallen. I'm not ashamed of falling. I'm not ashamed of, of, of feeling weak. I am not ashamed of my traumas and my, and my turbulations. I'm not ashamed of who I've been. And I believe 100% in who I can become. This is you talking to yourself. This is me talking to the purest, most uh, white and soft and tender and loving part of yourself. I know you can do it. 
And if for some reason you chose to listen to these words today, trust. Trust that this is a message that if you water it with care and kindness and attention, it can flourish into the most wonderful dream, reality you could have. And there is nothing in the world greater than that. To achieve the last moment of your life, to go into the afterlife with a great smile on your face, thinking and knowing, I did my absolute best. I loved as much as I could. I believed in myself and I challenged myself. I challenged my surroundings. I challenged everything. I kept growing and growing and growing. Feeling comfortable was an alarm. It wasn't a, a, an objective. Feeling comfortable should be an alarm. Wait, wake up, wake up. You're already getting comfortable in this. What part of you stopped growing? What part of you stopped listening to your heart, which never stops beating? Which part of you stopped listening to this universe, which never stops expanding? Don't get comfortable. Don't get comfortable. Get up. Do it. Think. Breathe. And tap. Whenever you need it, tap, 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 tap. And if you need support, ask for help. But first, try yourself. Because honestly, there is nothing in the world that pisses me off that someone who can do it, and it's like, <laughs> you know, I need you to help me. No. Go and try yourself. Do your breath, your three long breaths every single day. And then go into tapping. If you want more information about uh, the, the, the Guru Guru Vahe Guru Guru Ramdas Guru, which is the, uh, the Aum Sansara Kriya, the Trauma and Crisis uh, Survivors med Meditation, is the most powerful meditation Kriya set of exercise or uh, a spiritual technique that I know. And I've tried pretty much everything. This is the one that allows me to empty, disconnect. I should actually change the name of it. What about the ego eradicator or the ego uh, slayer? Mm. <laughs> it does, well, because it disconnects you from the ego part of you, like the, tr uh, the trauma and the story and the drama. Guru Guru Vahe Guru Guru Ram Das Guru 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 That a hundred and eight times And you tell me whatever your trauma is If it doesn't get disconnected If you want to learn about this meditation uh, Send me a message and I will direct you to the, to the website where I have all this put together. Okay? What time is it? 7.05. Seven, seven oh At this point, I bring the microphone to you and ask you to be courageous. Trust yourself and come out with a very good question. Even if the question is why cannot why I cannot think about a good question, why it is that I feel so vulnerable right now? Why do I feel like I don't know what to think? I don't know. You don't have to write it down, but I challenge you. I dare you, truth or dare, I dare you.
to come up with your greatest question. Come up with your greatest question. And forget about the answer. Allow yourself to sit on the question, breathe, and wait for that magic touch. Like, ooh, oh my God, I never thought about this. Which normally happens. If you are not thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. Remember, the first thought, the first impulse, it's always the one that is kind of divinely gifted to you. If you have something that you have to go like a ping pong, maybe it's already your ego making you feel like you are taking a decision. And in reality, you're just kind of making yourself crazy. So take yourself the time today to ask yourself, your greatest question. And you know, as I have said already a few times, if you need support, I'm here to support. Okay? If, if you have questions that you would like to share with me or uh, comments, suggestions, please, uh, I invite you to uh, uh, put them on the on the little box down here and share it with the world because otherwise it's time to go I was going to say go home but we're already home maybe it's time to go for dinner I don't want to take too much time from you I want simply to give you my absolute best. So, questions? Anyone questions? Question, question, questions, 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 questions. Or suggestions? Oh, suggestions! That would be very good. I see a lot of hearts. Can I love you a little bit more? Yes, I can. <laughs> I love the little hearts. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you so much. So, if we are not a kind of a questions and answers, I would thank you from the bottom of my heart for this opportunity to share <laughs> with me. Thank you for the heart. For, for the opportunity to share with me this time of your day. I truly wish you the most amazing adventure in your life. Mind the gap, mind the gap within your heart, fill it up with love, compassion, and, and passion, passion. Connect me, you can connect to me if you want uh, to, to speak more, to talk more, send me a message, angsamsara.com. Tio, this is my uncle, I love you uncle, I love you uncle. Eh, Sandra, saludos, eh, Cynthia, thank you, thank you everyone, everyone, Tripos, thank you very much, Tornado, I think, fantastic, thank you so much, there was questions at the beginning, let me see if I can go back up and answer, eh, thank you, thank you, thank you, oh my goodness, okay, here there was, how long have you been on? Oh gosh, that was how long have I been on? Like already. Like, uh, I am new to life. Uh, well, uh, I'm gonna be here every every day during lockdown, and I'm coming up with the themes. That's why I'm asking you that if you have any suggestions for me that you would like to talk about, uh, just uh, uh, pop them in your in your comments in your comment section. And, uh, and I will do my absolute best to, to, to come about it. I'll invite you to, to be here tomorrow, 6.30, 6.33, and, uh, and to send me a message. 
and to con keep connecting. Okay? No more. Out in three, two, one. Satnam. 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 Light to all, truth to all, love and compassion to all. Passion and willpower to all, safe and security to all. God bless you. Hasta la próxima. In three, two, one. And in relaxation, yes, we are.